Hello and welcome to Kids Game of Pony School. I'm Eden. And I'm Sarah. Eden, you know today is... It's Palm Sunday. It is Palm Sunday. But I'm guessing <laughs> that you guys at home like us, you don't have palms at home like we normally do at church on Palm Sunday. I know. Because you couldn't get any. We couldn't get any. But we're going to show you how to make palms out of something I know you all have at home. Your handprint. So you can get... We used about... Um, four pieces of paper. So if you have green paper at home, that would be great. But if you don't have green paper, you can use white paper and then you can color it green. But what we did is we took our piece of green paper and then we put our both hands on it. And then I helped Eden trace her hands. So we just traced to her hands. And we did that with both hands. I'm just going to do one for the sake of the video. And then we took her handprint and we just cut it out. So kind of cut that out. And then we went outside and we found a stick. And this is what it looked like. I took all of her handprints and I taped them together. So you just kind of lay them down and you put them all together and you make them kind of look like a palm kind of thing. So you're going to make a palm out of your palms. And then you take your stick and we just use duct tape. And Eden, you can go ahead and tape your stick onto your hands. And then um, when you get your stick taped down, you will have your very own Palm Sunday Palm that you can wave. And it will be just like being at church with a real Palm. So um, that's fine. We can fix that later. Don't worry about that. Um, so show the people. Nolan's got one too. We made one for Nolan. We did a practice, so he's going to show you his too. So this is your Palm Sunday Palm. And the, there's something really cool that we, we're going to link in the description. There is a virtual palm parade that's going on nationwide that you guys can check out. You guys can go on, put in your zip code, and then you will be entered on this virtual palm parade. And then there's also a link to the map so you can see all over the United States where the Palm Parade is kind of going. So you'll see all over where everybody else is joining in the virtual Palm Parade. So you'll get to see all over the United States, all the people who did the same thing. Maybe not with the same kind of palms, but joined in the Palm Parade. So another thing that you can do today is um, download the YouVersion Bible app for kids. It's a really cool app that you can get for free. Eden recommends it. I used to have it, and then I couldn't find it, and now I have it, and then it's super fun, and I really like it, and you can interact with the stories, and I just recommend it. So there's one on there called The Donkey and the King, and it's about Palm Sunday, and um, you can, it tells you the story, it reads the story to you, and you can listen to it, and it goes through, and you can find little nuggets in there. Um, that you can click on and it um, asks you questions throughout the story and you can click on Bible gems and all kinds of fun things that you can do. Um, it's just another way to get um, deeper into the Palm Sunday story. So another option for you and again it's the YouVersion Bible app for kids. Really cool free app that you can get on your tablet or your iPhone or your Android. So just check your app store for that. Eden, have you ever been asked to do something that you really didn't want to do? Yes, like cleaning my room. Oh, she really doesn't like to do that. What about being asked to do something that you didn't want to do, but you knew doing it would help other people? Um, I would probably do it, but I wouldn't be happy about it. Yeah, like we're a lot of us are having to do that right now. All of us are actually are having to do that right now. We're yeah. all having to stay home right now to help other people not get sick and to keep everybody safe. It's not necessarily something we want to do, yeah. but we all have to do it to keep everybody safe. And today we're going to hear about a guy who could relate to this. God has a job for all of us. And he had a big job for a guy named Jonah. Um, Jonah was a prophet and God asked him to go and help some people 
in a city called Nineveh. But Jonah didn't want to go there. And he didn't like the idea of going to this city and helping these people who he didn't really like or think needed, needed or deserved God's help. So we're going to check out the story. Eden's going to read it to you again from another kind of children's Bible. This one is called the Holy Moly. You can show them the cover. Holy Moly Story Bible. Um, but you can check out the full version of the story in the book of the Bible called Jonah. Now, Jonah was here before Jesus. So is his story going to be found in the Old Testament or the New Testament? The Old Testament. And we did a Holy Moly series for our Sunday school that was little Holy Moly videos. So yeah. we can get a CD for that too. Yeah, we might have that in our church too. So when we come back. You can check that if you want to check out some of the Holy Moly DVDs, you can you can get those too. So yeah, we're going to check out the story of Jonah. So if you want to look in your Bibles at home and read the whole story, you can do that in Jonah and that will be found in the Old Testament. But right now, Eden's going to read it to you from the Holy Moly Story Bible. Jonah and a big fish. Jonah was God's prophet. God told him, go to Nineveh. I need you to deliver a message to the people there. Jonah did not want to go. To me, no way. I won't go there, he said. Without another word, Jonah ran away. He climbed on a ship and sailed far from Nineveh. God sent a big storm that battered the ship. The worried sailors threw off some cargo and tried to row back to shore. Nothing worked. Jonah, help us, they called pray to God to stop the storm. It's my fault, Jonah said. I didn't obey God. You better throw me into the sea. The crew pushed Jonah off the ship. Splash! Jonah landed in the sea. Right away, the storm stopped. Gulp! God sent a large fish to swallow Jonah. For three days, Jonah waited inside the stinky belly of the fish. He prayed, God, please let me out of here. I promise to go to Nineveh. God heard Jonah prayer, Jonah's prayer and made the fish spin him out on the beach. Thank you, God, Jonah cheered. Again, God told Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah faced his fear and followed God's command. He brought God's message to Nineveh. Thanks, Eden. You're welcome. So here are some things that you guys can talk about at home. And we'll put these questions in the description too down below. What are some reasons that God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh? Why did Jonah run away? Has fear ever made you want to run away like Jonah? And what was Jonah's prayer and how did God answer it? Jonah's story helps us to remember that when he tells us to do something, we need to listen and we need to do what he asks. And we can trust that when he asks us to do something, he has a plan and he knows what he's doing. And we can always trust God, even when it seems like we can't. And Jonah learned that, and we can remember that too. Jonah was stuck in a hopeless situation. In, in Eden's story, it was kind of a hopeless and stinky situation. <laughs> when everything seemed hopeless, though, he, he turned to God, and God made a way in the midst of the hopelessness. And because God is a God of hope, Jonah got a second chance to do what God asked him to do. And we have the same hope that Jonah had because of Jesus. And next Sunday, we get to celebrate Jesus because it's Easter. And Easter is going to look a little different for us this year because we don't get to do the things that we normally get to do. We don't get to go to church. We don't get to yeah. do all the stuff that we normally but we, would. But we can still have fun and make it a great day. Yeah, because it's still going to be about what Easter really is about, and that's about Jesus rising from the dead, and we get to celebrate that. And we can be excited about that. So just like Jonah had that hope, we can always have that hope in Jesus. 
So, we are going to say a quick prayer and thank God for the hope that we have in Jesus. So let's pray. Father, thank you so much for sending Jesus for us. Thank you that we can always hope in him and that we can always count on him to help us when we're afraid, to give us second chances, and to guide us in all that we do. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we're going to get ready to talk about our memory verse. Eden, would you like to share the memory verse today? Yes. Roll all your anxiety on him because he cares about you. Where's that from? Peter verse five. Oops. Peter first Peter five seven. Yeah, first Peter five seven. So to help you guys learn um the memory verse, we have a fun way that we thought you could try this at home. So we're gonna um move to our hallway to show you a game that Eden and Nolan have set up to show you a way to practice the memory verse at home. So Nolan and Eden are all set to play a game um, to help us learn a memory verse. We've set up some games in our hallway and they have some stuffed animals. We call them plushies in their hand. And what they're going to do is they're going to take turns saying a word from the memory verse. And after two turns saying the word, they're going to throw one of those stuffed animals and try to make a basket into the bin. So we're going to show you what we're talking about. And if you don't have games like this at home, you can use um, maybe Sandcat or if you don't have anything like that, you can use pieces of paper on the floor. Or if you want to take it outside, you can use squares on the sidewalk. That would work too. So let's take a look and watch them play. Here they go. Okay. Here it is. Row. Your anxiety on him. Oh. Okay. Because he cares about oh man. Okay. About you. First Peter. Your box number three would be five seven. And that's the game. Hopefully you got the email with the whole week activity. There's some really cool things for you to do this week as we get ready to celebrate Easter. If you didn't get it, but you want to get it, email my mom at Christian at, at pfumc.org. She would love to get that out to you. Until next time, check in on the Kids Kingdom Facebook page. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.